All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month we come out with new exercises for you to practice and complete, and we break it down for you into four different sections. So today we are going to be working in the November warm-ups section. At the top here is a little animated video to give you a little synopsis of what's going on in Craig's world that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge as it relates to the video up above. And then further down are all of the exercises within this section. So today we are going to practice receiving a deposit on an estimate. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercises in. If you have not completed those yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner. That'll take you to the first exercise, complete that one and the one after that, and then come back to this one. So our scenario today is that Sally's hair design paid a deposit on her estimate using an ACH transfer at a home show. Later, Craig had the consultation with Sally and created an invoice, which has new services added to it. So we will create that invoice and then apply the deposit. So at the time Craig received the deposit, there was no invoice to apply it to. So to record this, we will receive the payment and then save it as a credit. So step one on the quick, uh, quick actions tile, we need to click on receive payment. So here I am in the sample company. This is the last page I left off of um, from the previous exercise. This is actually the, um, this is the dashboard here. So we are going to be looking for receive payment, which happens to be right here in the money in section. Click on that you will see this little pop-up up here for you. Now that setup button that it's showing there is um, for QuickBook payments. We're gonna skip it for the purposes of this exercise, but in a real life scenario, it might be a good idea to discuss this um, option with your clients. So we're going to keep it as a manual process and click on that, which is right here next to it. And the receive payment screen is going to show up for us. So we need to go ahead and fill it out for Sally's hair design. In the customer field, that's who we need to select. So let's go ahead and do that. Click into it and start typing in Sally for Sally's hair design. There it is, click on it. And you will get this little warning from QBO and it's saying that there's no open invoice to go with this. Um, and so it's fine for the purposes of, for this exercise because we know we're going to um, create the invoice after this, but just know that QBO is looking out for you um, if, they're, if you're trying to receive payment for something that they don't have an open invoice for. So in the payment field, we're going to select ACH because remember that's how she paid and that goes directly into the checking account. So click on um, the uh, under payment method, click on the arrow and then select ACH. Deposit to should be checking um, because again, that went directly into the checking account. The amount that she had paid was $50. So let's go ahead and put that in the amount received right here. Uh, type in 50, you can hit the tab key over and it updates up here. And then we simply just need to go ahead and save and close this. So click on the green save and close button. You will get this little pop-up once again from QBO. It's just another secondary warning. Um, and it's asking if you wanna save this as a credit to the customer since there isn't an invoice. So yes, we wanna do that. So go ahead and click on save as a credit. And now that receive payment of $50 has been saved for us. So next we will create the invoice based on the original estimate and then edit it to show the adjustments that Craig made after his consultation with Sally and then apply the credits. So to get started, we need to find Sally's estimate first. So on the left nav bar, we're going to hover over sales and then select estimates. So over here on the left-hand side, hover over sales, and then you will see estimates. Go ahead and click on that. And all of the current estimates are showing there. We need to have the estimate accepted by Sally and have it marked that way. So to do it on the line um, for Sally's hair salon, we're gonna click on the down arrow button and then mark it as um, accepted. So here's Sally's hair design, or hair salon, excuse me. 
at the top line, go ahead and click on the arrow there, and then you can mark it as accepted. You'll get this little pop-up because it needs to have a little more information and confirmation as to how it was accepted. Um, so we're going to um, put Sally as Sally from Sally's Hair Design uh, or Hair Salon um, that she had accepted it. And then we're going to put today's date. So go ahead and type in there Sally. And then the date, um, you can just use today's date for the purposes of this exercise. In real life, you would use the date that this was actually, um, estimate was accepted. You can hit a lowercase t into that box and it will put for that date, um, for today's date. And then we simply just need to click on the green OK button and it is now showing as accepted. So now we need to convert it to an invoice. On that same line, you're gonna click on convert to invoice. So that same line right there, go ahead and click on that. And the invoice will appear for us. All right, so in the quantity field for that first row, we need to change that two to a five because there, she's gonna have uh, five hours of design uh, work there. So click into that box under quantity, change it to five. You can hit the tab key over and when you do, that is making the adjustment as the total. She is also going to be purchasing a rock fountain. So in that um, product service line field for the second line, we need to put design fountains, rock fountain. So click into it two times, and then I would type in rock fountain or start typing that in to get it to appear, click on that. We're gonna say it was just one at that rate, so we're gonna leave everything as is. And then we simply need to click on the black save button. Right down here, click on that. And that invoice has been saved for us. It is still showing up here. Um, one quick note here that when you save the invoice, the credit is automatically applied and is um, showing as indicated. So um, you will see that right here. It was originally that $600. Uh, $672 is what that total was. The amount received is that $50 deposit. You can see all of that updated right here and that the payment has been made. So we're simply just gonna click on the X to go ahead and close the invoice on the top right corner here. And that is it. That is how you would receive a deposit and then apply it to an estimate. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO Gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in the warm-up section where we process the bank feeds. And I will see you in the next video.